Hey everybody, before this video gets started, I wanted to show you guys some cool coins that we're posting as this video premieres. Some coins that are very hard to run into, some coins that people really like as well. So I want to give a quick shout out to a friend of mine, his name is Ben, he's up in Virginia, and he hooked us up with this 1801 $10 Heraldic Eagle uh, gold piece. Love the obverse design of most of uh, you know the early gold, especially with that beautiful hat and flowing hair on the obverse. And just wanted to thank Ben for that, especially. If you flip it over, you can see that little gold eagle on the reverse. And then we also got a cool coin, this 1870 CC in VF25. So a little over 11,000 minted, a Carson City seated dollar. Scarce to run to, and we really like it. And, you know, I don't think I've ever handled a 70cc, so today is the day. Then we have this 1850 Charlotte. It's a weak C variety, and it's great at AU53. Just came back from CAC from a friend of ours, and he sold it to us off the bat, so thankful for that. And we also have this 22 Grant, mostly white, 65 CAC, also came back with the Charlotte. And there's many more other cool coins, like the ones up top here, that we posted as well if you're wanting to get into some type coins or just coins that are bread and butter for numismatics. And we also are giving away some Proof Kennedy half dollars in this video. Let me get them real quickly for you. So we've been trying to give away stuff every single video for people that support us and want to watch and help us grow. And so if you guys want to leave a comment of what you think of the video as the video lays out, that'd be wonderful. Um, and we'll just use a random comment generator to give away these two proof Kennedy half dollars. They're 90% silver. And if you guys like to support us and you want to watch more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. But let's jump into today's video. All right, guys. So this is the office that we're going to be using for our local purchases. And you're actually going to see today that we are buying a collection, our first collection out of this office. We're going to be meeting with David, but I wanted to show you guys just the amount of effort and time it took for uh, the people that we know that are passionate about decorating to decorate this office. So as Casey's gonna pan to right here, this is somewhere where you know maybe a loved one comes in, they wanna sit down while we're talking about the collection over there. And we have refreshments, snacks, waters, cokes. We wanted to get a refrigerator for right here, so that's like a finishing touch. We have uh, Abe Lincoln right here, neat little statue. Uh, everything in this room is pretty much antique, so uh, down the table's antique, uh, this basket's not, but the bowls and everything are. And as we start to pan around, we got some neat little fixtures on the wall, as you guys can see. And we have this big L-shaped desk. It might be hard for Casey to get all in one frame, but this just allows us to sit here if Casey wants to work on that side of the table and I work on this side of the table, that's great. Um, gives us just enough space to do everything that we might need. We're gonna have the client sit on this side of the table right here, and we'll try to film every transaction that goes on just so we can show you guys what we pay for things and everything like that. We also have this big 2,000 pound safe that we might have shown you guys footage of already that we're putting in here. We're not gonna have anything valuable in here in case anyone wants to you know, try to take this safe with them somewhere. Nothing in here is gonna be of value unless we're waiting in between meetings and we're putting something in there while we're in the room. Nothing that we have of value is gonna be in the office whatsoever. So um, then we have more cool, awesome antiques. I wish the ladies were here to tell you more about uh, these types of art, but that's just the way it goes. I'm gonna jump over this cord real quick. Got a neat little rug on the ground, and uh, this is where we kind of keep our business cards at. So when we're done with the transaction, um, there's actually something underneath here where you can put your knees so we can have a client sitting right here talking with us We can turn the, uh, the laptop towards them uh, let them know what we pay for things have a more intimate experience and uh, I don't know if you guys like this mirror or not, but this is what me and my dad brought home from uh, Ohio and we ended up getting out of a house in Painesville in the historic district and uh, It's uh, super cool really just commemorates kind of what the United States kind of looks like, just that beautiful eagle on top, and just all the finishes of it is amazing. But when someone's sitting down here and they're ready to go, or they come in, they can grab some of our business cards in case they ever want to uh, recommend somebody to meet with us. 
And so this is just kind of the beginning of our local presence. The reason why we're developing this local presence is because we not only want to do coins, but we also want to move into bullion and maybe some other collectibles that are hard to ship. Well, there's people that want to sell bullion and other collectibles, and so uh, we want to be able to meet them here. If someone wants to buy bullion from us, we can also meet them. So it's uh, just a, a good start to our local presence, like I said, but let's spend some time right now. Before we jump into the collection purchase, so let's do that right now. So to set things up for you guys, just to know what, everything that's going on in this video, so we actually started to exchange messages with David on our email, which is akushacollectibles at gmail.com if you ever want to sell us a collection, or you can reach out to me at 832-538-4122. But he ended up sending us a short list of things that he wanted to sell, and what we did ahead of time was set expectations of what we would pay for things in the current market, and so uh, as you start to hear numbers come out about what we pay for 20s, uh, $20 gold pieces, uh, one ounce, five ounce, 10 ounce silver, uh, kilo silver, you're going to start to understand uh, what we agreed upon ahead of time. Silver has come up and gold has come up since then, but that's kind of where we have to be so that we can insulate ourselves in case anything were to cool down like it has been. You know, things could go up $2 one day, come down $1.50 the other day. And you just don't want to get stuck paying so much money for silver, gold, and other precious metals. We also did buy some numismatics. And all we're going to do is show David what we seek things selling for and then offer that accordingly. And so that's kind of what this video is going to be. It's just going to be an honest heart-to-heart -heart with the collector in our new office. So let's show you guys that right now. Hey, David. Hey, Bubba. How are you doing? Great to meet you. I'm doing well. Good to meet you. This is your chair for you. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, sir, how are you doing? Pleasure. Doing well. Where you want to set everything? Uh, you can sit it on the on right there if you're okay. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. All right, David. Steve Haddock. Hi, right, Steve. Nice to meet That's you. Where Drew gets his good looks. I'm not, gonna say, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to walk in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of the uh, expectation that we have, David. So okay. all you would do really with that form okay. is we would just you know basically put your name, the purchaser, so us here. Okay. Then we would just say lot of bullion and silver and coins so then we would price it grand total it down here and then all we would do on the back here this is just setting expectations for when we do a deal we would put the offer amount which is just the grand total on the on the first page for 500 plus items or whatever okay and then you would uh, basically just write your name here just stating that we basically have exchanged coins and there are coins now okay and then um, we would have you sign down here and we would include the check number of what we uh, gave you so that everything is on your side's good and everything on our side's good. And then, like we said, we would take your license down. If you need our license, we can give that to you as well. And then we have a legal disclaimer that basically, if there's anything that legally that arises, we would just take care of it in Harris County. I don't expect anything to. You know, you just try to be as straightforward as well, possible. I but understand that and I appreciate it. It's yeah. not a problem. It's just when you're in different states, like this is mainly for out of state, but when you're in different states like California or Arizona or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, wherever you buy the collection is jurisdiction. So if someone has a legal issue that arises, even though you might have done everything right, they take you to that state. So that's why we have it on there. But you get anything to drink or anything like that, David? We did have no, water I and coke. water all the way over here. I'll probably have to take a bathroom break in a yeah, little there's, bit. But there's one right. Uh, it, that'll that'll escort you just in case you need it. No yeah. problem. So Where do you want to start? However you want to crack them open here. I remember the 20s you were talking about, those 10th ounce. That's the, that's the gold. That's the only gold that I brought. Okay. I had a hard time the last couple of days trying to figure out what I was going to sell and what I wasn't going to sell. Hey, that's, uh, uh, that's the right place to be. I've seen you guys' website and everything, and I know y'all are into the, the biggest portion of graded coins. Uh, I do have a bunch, just a bunch of bulk silver in here. I've got, I brought maples, Krugerrands, okay. uh, Britannias, some of the, the higher end silver stuff. Yeah, so do you want to just start on these first? And yeah, talk that's about fine. These? Okay, that's fine. And all I'm going to do with these, um, David, is I'm just going to say what we agree on, write it down, put a sticker on it, write it down, put a sticker on it, and I'll just start loading up trays and by the end you can double check we can double check and then 
that's fine. That's fine from there. I've seen you guys operate before. I trust you. I don't have any problems. I just, my thought right now is I don't want to walk out of here with anything. Which so think about those. And I know you're... Uh, I wrote the numbers down right here, what we talked about in the email. Um, that's pretty much where I would need to stay in case so, in case the gold drops some. Is that okay with you? Or do you need a little bit more here? Like, what's the story? We uh, had said... That's what I had in the email. 2475? Yeah. I mean, I can bump them both up to 2500 and make it easy for you, but I just want to be in the right position in case gold drops because it's at an all-time high. So. It's at an all-time high, and it's yeah. probably going to keep on going. If, I, if it doesn't, though, you know, that's my... Yeah, problem. and I know, I know you're in business to do it. Uh, 2500 would be fine with me. Okay, I'm going to put those stickers on there for you. And you said there was 10 of those in there, the yeah. one 10 down to Double, double check me to make sure. Hand those to Casey. And when I'm looking at the silver, what we talked about, I was saying 29 for one and five ounce, and anything 10 ounces and over, I'd be at 28. Mm -hmm. That's probably, that's, I can't really give you much more on those because it feels like every time we buy silver, it goes down $2 and then I'm right. selling it for the one. The way it's been going back and forth, yeah. uh, being honest with you, some of this stuff I got at sale price, probably 25, 26. Some of the other stuff I got, I paid 31 32 Yeah. So I'm kind of in the middle. I just get your money back out. 28 is kind of in the middle. Uh, there are a few things in here that may be, in my consideration, worth a little bit more as, as okay. premium silver that you might want to take a look at and see if we can't come up to a little bit better. But as far as the bulk stuff, no problems. Okay. Mind if I pull a few things out real quick, no. or do you want me to look at the slabs first for you, no, just to you get those? Can, you can you can pull out whatever you want. Okay. And look at it, and then I'll tell you about it. Let me see. Got your kangaroo here, the Ike. I'm going to shift this just sideways for you, just so you can see everything that's going on. I'm going to do the slabs first, leave everything else hanging in there. I figured that's what you might be most interested in. Yeah, I feel like if I pulled those saints out first, I probably should just carry out with the rest of the slabs. Casey's just double checking right here that the 10th ounce eagles are are pure. Absolutely, I want you to check everything. Okay. I would be surprised if anything was bogus, but then I guess I don't, wouldn't be that surprised. But I've bought everything from reputable dealers. Uh, there's no flea market stuff in here. Uh, probably yeah. some pawn shop items, but then I check them and weigh them, so. These are the vans we talked about, yeah. and I, I felt like the vans might be worth a little bit more. But. Yeah, right. Right now, I'm I'm making about ten percent margin on the numbers I priced you at right now. So, I might just have to stick with those numbers. And the ten percent margin that I am making on those currently are with PCGS and NGC. So, I might be losing a few bucks or just breaking even on these but I did quote you that price of 60 if you're okay with 60 on the uh, 64s I'll do that um, that's kind of the best that I'd be able to to do on those is that okay with you David yeah think about that just a second because yeah, let me see here because I can I'm gonna show you I guess what the past few that I've had that I've sold for let me see and I've looked them up, and I know you can't go by high retail, which is basically what PCGS is in a lot of cases. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Let me see. I just uh, thought that they would bring a little bit more than 60 bucks a piece, because I figured you could probably sell them for 100 or a hair over on some of them. Yeah, the ones that I've sold on eBay recently that are Blast White PCGS, I've sold anywhere between $75 to $85, and that includes free shipping. So if I knock off 10% free shipping, I'm at about $70 um, on an $85 coin, and I'm making about $10. And then I have to pay someone to ship it, and then all the overhead and everything else. So, yeah, it's pretty much $60 a coin is, is what I'd be able to do, just because that would make our 15% margin, it feels like. Okay, what well, I'm... Um what I was aiming at in the overall, based on you having to make money 
and me not wanting to lose a bunch or make a bunch was 70 to 80 percent of retail yeah it's kind of a target which i figured you'd probably be aiming at anyway because you need to have 20 or 30 percent on top to be able to make some money off of it yeah i'm just uh, i just said to you kind of what i sell them for just outright so i i would be making ten dollars a coin based on the ones i've just sold on ebay and so if that doesn't work it's okay i i, I got well, i don't i don't know that i'm not going to screw around with auctions I don't want to do all of that kind of mess and get into yeah. that. The uh, film is just a lot of headaches for, for some, a lot of us. So. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm technically challenged at times, so I really don't want to get on the computer and try and jack with it. Uh, okay, I'll go. The Vans will go sixty. Okay. I verified that they're all all your ten were in there, David. Okay. So you're good to go on this. They're all gold. Yep. Absolutely, Perfect. huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to start testing some of this other stuff, Trip? Um, it's completely up to, to David. Oh, Whatever you, he's uh you test test these, this is just more bulk yeah. and I bought these at auctions and online, so they should be good, but like I said, I want y'all to be 100 percent sure these are all these are all the yeah. 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 I pay for these and I'm looking at the same margins basically for these coins when I when I look them up when I sell them. So. Okay, okay, let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Put that in this pile here. We'll talk about the gold when it comes to it. So a lot of these, for us, David, um, is there a, a spot you need to be on these more cracked and open ones here? Because uh, most of this No, stuff, you, you tell me what you, I didn't want to... Mess with them and reholder them Yeah, reholder them. I didn't know if you wanted to mess with that kind of stuff, it was, if it was even worth the money to do it. Yeah, for cracked uh, stuff like this, I basically would be at uh, whatever I'm buying kind of 90% at. Because it, if the holder's cracked, then I... The person would either have to reholder it, which takes away from that, or yeah, just that's where I'd have to be on some of those. Or they'll sit for a very long time. Yeah, we can portion. We probably have probably two double row boxes of Franklin's at the house for that type of stuff. So yeah, so these I'd probably I'd probably like ten or eleven bucks a piece because they're cracked, um, and I would just basically auction them off as they are because no one would ever purchase them for me, and I just roll the dice. Free shipping again and fees and all that. So. Then I'll take you on your high side. I'll go eleven dollars and just. Okay. I won't tell you how much I paid for them, but that's. <laughs> it's just that's those stinking holders that they charge us so much to. I mean, by the time I get a coin reholders, it's like thirty bucks, and so someone buying it's going to say the same thing to me, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'll have to cave on on their end, which sucks. Well, in the end, I mean, I knew in some of the things that I bought in auctions that I probably got a little carried away, and then I had high aspirations that I could take them and reholder them and still have a good coin for somebody to cash in later. Right. But right now, and that was the hard part about going through this stuff and picking what I was going to sell. I knew in some cases I was going to take losses. I guess I really started putting the silver together and everything around 2009, 2010. Mm. So it's a good time. It seems like earlier the better. That's yeah. You know. but, well, then you get to 2010, 2011, and it was back up again. I didn't buy a whole lot. Yeah. I'm in a similar boat on this one. Uh, probably would be like 11, 12 bucks for this. Um, That's the uh, 2002. You you said these are buffaloes, dude. Yeah, they're all bulk silver, just round. Not if I start working. No, with these. help yourself. And all Casey's doing on here as well, David, is he's uh, basically stickering 
So our what I would talk to you about, just uh, which is a 29 for five ounces and under, and 28 for 10 ounces and over. Okay. It is only it is only 32 ounces. Okay. Well, anything over 10, we'll just we'll uh, put that number on it. Right I think there. it was the Val Camby was. Okay. It was 32. It's the 2002 with the correct. It looks like some air yeah, candy. That's, that's fine. That's okay. I'm gonna do 11 on that one. Um, the 2005, um, I probably would be at 20 since the holder is where it is, and it's a good, good holder. Mm. Oh, I really just, I'm taking a licking on that thing. Okay, that's fine. That's okay with you, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I can't, I can't argue too much because in the end, we we won't agree, and then I'll end up having to bring it back. So. Well, I'm going to try to add some more money onto some other things for you, at least. Um, well, we'll play that by ear. you see what what happens in the end. Are you taking a licking on this one, too? <laughs> We're dropping her on the ground, this uh, 41. The 41, actually, that was shipped to me that with, that, with that Kennedy. Oh. And it wasn't like that when I bought it. Hmm. And it was damaged in the shipment, and the shop that I bought it from told me send it back and they would give me my money back and I said I like the coin I don't have a problem with it I, that's when I was thinking about sending a bunch of stuff right. to reholder and some stuff to be graded and I'd kill a bunch of stuff in all one fell swoop and then in the end it didn't so I well there was one 41 wash I bought it for $75 so we'll see now this is the one I found that sold in August 2024 and the holder was was perfect and it sold for 18 14 plus shipping yep I so I don't know I can't argue with when I I look up stuff and I look PCGS NGC yeah eBay heritage when I go through and buy stuff and that coin is priced a lot higher than that CCGS and everything. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, it's damaged. I can't do anything else about that at that time. Put whatever what you were going to put on it, and yeah, I probably would have to be at like six bucks on this coin. And that's I don't want I want don't want to hurt you that bad, but that's kind of where, where hey, this one sits. Uh, so. I'm not bringing it home with me if we agree on everything else. So okay, put it on there and we'll go. Here's this Ike. 1776 to 1976 D and 65. It sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Uh, where are you at on that? It's, where, it's the same grade as this one here. And like, date. Like, yeah, it should be a type one as well. Man, whatever you want to put on it. That's okay. Yeah, I'm at like, I'm at like four or five bucks on this coin. It's okay. not going to be super strong, but I just want to be honest with you and look it up. And hey, I'm. I'm going with the flow on most of it. There's very few of them that I'll, I'll really argue. Uh, I'm pained. I'm suffering. You're probably going to make me cry a little later, but uh, right now we'll just roll with it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bogus yet? Nope. Not one. It's all checking out. Right, they were all... This one I'd be at about... 20 bucks on from where I could see. The Type 2 MS66, the Philly. Yeah, MS66 is, man, that's a good coin. Okay, she, go ahead. She nice, for sure. So this one is the 62. Uh, this one's a star grade, so here's not a star grade, and it's sold for $24.50, free shipping. Um, I thought I had a star on something. This one has a star. I didn't do this one yet. Okay. So. Um, on this one, I mean, if they shipped it for free, they, they probably got about 17 or 18 bucks back from doing this auction. I probably want to be at like 12 bucks on this coin from where okay. this auction sits. Okay. And just to save time, this one I probably would be at uh, $15 on before I had to look that one up. This one's a star, but it's a great hire. This one's a star as well, but that's where I'd like to be. I think it'll probably fetch about 30 bucks on my end before free shipping and the fees and all that. You want me to throw 18 on there instead of 15, I'll 
I'll do that and uh, just make it simpler. But I don't know how much you might have spent on it and all that. So. No, it's about like the others. 18 would be fine if you'll go there. Okay. These are all, there's type 2s and there's type 1s I see from your list, right? So yeah, they are split. Two type 2s and five type 1s. I do have seven total here, and then I have these two special ones in their own pile. Okay, they, have, they have different signatures on yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah, from Emily to Monstro, it looks like. I saw one sell for 89 free shipping for these. Um, some, I saw one here sell for $53, $55. Is there somewhere you need to be comfortable at that? Well, it would, uh, to be comfortable, it would have to be a lot more than that based on what I paid on it. Uh, I guess I maybe... I, I really don't think I'd like to take less than 75 on all of them. Because... And those were bought some time ago, so I would think they would have... Came up a little ...appreciated bit. a little bit. Well, I'm gonna roll the dice at 75 a piece and and give them a shot. And if it doesn't work out, it's okay. It's only a few bucks on our end. If that's okay with you, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. In the early days, well, I say early days, uh, probably between 2015 and 2018, when I was starting to really get on the the bandwagon with some stuff, uh, I got I got taken to the bank pretty good a couple times on well what I'm showing you here Morgan's hmm. uh, what did they charge you for those Morgan dollars and those grades uh, these aren't graded yeah I meant like uh, sometimes they call it MS sometimes they call yeah. it AU and all that stuff they, uh, they called them called them BUs hmm. B rolls they were rolls when I got them they were paper Paper wrapped inside a, a deal like this. What do they charge you for those? About $100 a piece. Oh, wow. With this, and I was probably more disappointed in this than I was about anything else. And the egg dollars? Yeah, because they were laid out to me to be you silver might, 40 you might set this down? No, help so. Yeah, I can see that. See that that rim may, may make it anyone happy, right? Yeah, or not? Yeah. It's like we're all getting our weapons in the beginning, right? I probably would be in the same ballpark on these from where I'm seeing these these sales, um, which would be I could probably do seventy five dollars a piece would be. Mine. Okay, go ahead. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue anymore about those. I mean, do you think these Ikes would be worth anything more than just taking them to the bank? They might be worth a dollar fifty each or something. I mean, um, that's probably what I would roll the dice for me at. Uh, what would you do with a roll like this, though? Would you try and sell I'd them walk them around. Would you look them around, see if there's anything you wanted to get graded, or mainly walk around the shows because even like even even this coin in sixty nine decam. They're not. They don't go for too much unless they're seventy decam. Yeah. There probably is a bunch of seventy decams out there, but oh, there is. There's yeah. There's bunches around. So any little spot, any little scratch or hit or nothing, it'll just take it right away. Um, this one, spotless. Um, they're selling for anywhere between forty to fifty bucks free shipping. This one has some spots on it. Some the milk it, spots. Yeah, or milk spots on. The holder. You can see the uh, the rim on the on the back. It's full of milk spots, pretty much. Um, yeah, it is around there. I see that. And with those spots, for me, it, it hurts it. So I mean, I'm pretty much at like uh, I'm pretty much at what I would pay for a one ounce round, which is like twenty nine bucks, um, because they just don't bring that for me unless they are in perfect condition, pretty much. That's okay. Research these because she might have a more special. Some, some people only sign a few coins, it feels like, and then some guy signs a, a million coins, depending on the years. So. Yeah, and there's so many versions and variations. I mean, that's 
that's almost like doing Morgan Vans. Yeah. With all the people that sign stuff, you mean? Yeah, sign stuff in first day of issue, last day of issue, emergency issue, blah, 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 blah. And some of them are hard to find. I mean, I had to go through pages on PCGS and NGC just to, to double check it. This one, it looks like $61 plus shipping is what one sold for recently. Um, yeah, I see someone sold two for $54 free shipping. Um, yeah, I'm probably at like 40 bucks a piece on these from what I'm seeing. If someone sold two for 54 free shipping. Um, because the $5 in fees and then the $4 to ship it, I'm making about five bucks a coin, it looks like. Then how much do you make comparisons to the price guides on NGC? Most of the time, I just pretty much use uh, what things sell for on eBay because there's some items like maybe this Saint you could use on your website and someone would really like as a numismatic item. Most of the time it's turning into a spot though. But a lot of the stuff, I would have to compare the source to what I, where I sell it at. So if I use eBay to sell it, I'm going to have to use eBay to buy it. Okay. Because that just will help me at least uh, be in the right spot. You know? We just do a lot on eBay with the more com more uh, newer common stuff. So but that's about where I have to be. I'm trying to think of what I saw just... 20, those are 2021s? 2021 type twos. These are the two ones I was seeing. What they were selling for? No, I'm thinking yeah, just if they were just if they weren't in a holder and they weren't signed, what a what it was selling for. I think they were 35 to 38, depending on there. So yeah, I think the whole the wholesalers right now, the in perfect condition, no spots. They're paying a 70 cents above melt for American Silver Eagle. Okay. So like 32 bucks. Okay. What and, they're and, for melt. and again, your definition of melt versus spot. Yeah, so if I look up Kitco uh, spot price, so so 31.37 is the current spot price. Mm -hmm. What the wholesaler was said to me is that basically if you have an American Silver Eagle that's raw without any spots or any toning or any mm -hmm. scrap, whatever it is, um, we're gonna pay you at 70 cents over what Kitco spot price is, which is what basically is on the NASDAQ. Okay. So that's what they're giving me for ones that are not in holders. So but that's what I basically pay for these just because I'm gonna not send them to them and I'm just gonna let them roll on eBay instead. Don't really wanna crack them out and then they tell me there's one spot on them and all that, so. Yeah, no, I understand that. I guess what, what I'm asking in is when do you use melt price? And I understand melt price to be yeah. the metal value, metal content. Yeah, we use times melt. Times the spot price. Most of the time with melt price it has to do with um, a lot, a lot of the more bulky stuff like this or one ounce stuff like this, yeah. even American Silver Eagles. Um, because even if I, so say someone came in and they had a monster box of American Silver Eagles mm -hmm. and we're saying, oh, we'll pay you a dollar back of spot. It, that's kind of, it just really is comparison to uh, what someone's willing to pay us on either our clients or maybe a wholesaler is looking for it. So mm -hmm. it all is really relative to your client okay. base. Um, and then how spot relates to that because spot will indicate what they want to buy things for too. Um, so. So what'd you say on those? 120? Uh, 40 bucks a piece. <laughs> that's that's my max on those, sadly. But okay, that's all right. This one's got some fancy toning to it. It looks like. Yeah, I see if those. That adds a whole lot to it. I don't think that one's. Someone just sold one for ten dollars plus shipping. $14. I give you probably five bucks for that coin um, for it to make sense for me. That's okay. Okay. It's got to make sense to you. One just sold for $14.50 plus $5 in shipping. Um, and that's which one? That is the 76S Proof 69 DCAM. This is the one that they have silver from Beantown coin, I guess. Now I 
ACG. That's why I think it's a bit of fun to hold. Uh, melts nine ninety five. I pay ten dollars for that, and they sell for twenty. So the holder is not really a big indicator, but I would, I would. Uh, that's what I would pay for. No, I don't even remember where I got this one. That's okay. okay. There may be some bulk in here. You can start hunting through. Check on cases. One just sold for forty bucks. I, I'd offer thirty dollars on this, and I ship it. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you take a look at Morgan's and try and follow that stuff. The uh, every coin's a bam if you don't. Yeah. Uh, this one, some one just sold for twenty eight bucks recently. This one's probably a twenty two, twenty three dollar coin. I'm at like eleven bucks a piece on these. Okay. This one I'd be at like thirty bucks on from what I'm seeing. Okay. My favorite. I see one that is listed for one twenty, not sold. Um, someone just sold one for thirty eight dollars free shipping. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. That was an auction. They, they may be. They may be a little short on that one. Yeah. They may have uh, needed to wait for a bite now. That's what this one is. This one's toned as well. $38 free shipping. So. And that's a pretty coin, too. Yeah. It's probably another thing I'd get 30, 34 bucks on. and Get it out of my hair. All right. I think you're going to come out killer on that if you put it in an auction, but we'll see. Well, you put it up for auction, you, you pray, I guess, is the, the main mm -hmm. the main point. From a mint like Scottsdale. Yeah. And their limited mintage. Does it make any real difference in the end to somebody like you or to who you're selling them to off the deal? For us? Because I think that's the only thing that may have been a little bit special as I think it was is it, only a, is that a five ounce? Yeah, they're five ounces. Five ounce. Scottsdale. There's two of them. They're stackers. It's the, the Lion Stacker. Yeah, they're selling them for 174 on eBay, free shipping. So 174 times 0 0.91 is their fees, minus five dollars a ship. They're getting 153 dollars and 34 cents, and they're paying you 145. So. Make it, that's about eight bucks in, okay. in addition. Now, if you don't see anything else in particular special about it. Yeah, I think that's probably where they are, you know. Fine. Yeah, so let me check on these and see if there's a an extra premium. Here's this one for you, David. So they just there's two that have sold recently. This one's thirty four dollars free shipping. So basically a little bit over melt. And this one's thirty three dollars plus six dollars shipping. So I probably Unless you want to hold on to them, I'll probably get the same as just about all the other generics. Just because uh, they're basically selling four melt online and then the, the, to ship them or whatever, and then minus three or four dollars for fees. So they're basically getting back a melt for these two when they do all their stuff. So I'm at like $29 a piece on those. And it's mainly just moving weight at this point. Yeah. So, okay, that's good. Okay. It seems like what has happened, so like with, there's like those vintage silver town bars that mm -hmm. I used to have. Yeah. I, I was paying like 300 bucks a piece for them and I couldn't sell them to save my life. And then spot went from 26 to 28 to 29 and then someone, someday some someone came and said, wow, those are a great price, you know? Yeah, which you got back up to even. Yeah, so it feels like all those specialty pours right now, it's more of a, a weight scenario based on spot price, which means people are looking at the weight of them, weight of all the silver they're acquiring rather than the vintage part of them, you know. I guess the spot price is basically eating away at the the, the premium for premium stuff, you know. I had written down on this, David, uh, 258 a piece. 
Um, I'd probably be at 260 a piece now if that changed anything. So $2,600 for uh, all 10 of these. Okay. So I'm gonna put that number on there. Okay. I'm gonna tell you a story that will probably, <clears throat> you'll probably curdle these guys hair on the back of their neck. When I was in high school, 10th grade and 11th grade, I had, I, I worked, but I had a little bit of an allowance too. Right. Well, my mom and dad saved 90% silver, constitutional silver, mm. and she saved silver certificates. And she had a piggy bank about this big, and she kept it in the freezer. Mm. I like to play pinball machines mm. around that time. The day David almost died. <laughs> and I would go in there in the mornings before they got up when I was up early to get ready to go catch the box, the bus, and I'd turn that thing on its side and I'd get a knife oh, and man. I'd get four or five Liberty Dimes out and stick in my pocket and that's what I played a pinball machine with. There's no telling how many 1916s, 1915s, 13s that I threw down a pinball machine. Makes me sick thinking about it today. But you don't want to get ripped for, you know, how much they are. It'll pay for itself in one run. Like if you wanted to do these, these are 90%. And you just sit on there. And if it tests within the parameters, it's real. Yeah. yeah. Well, the simple, just because I can't put it in my hand, you know. The yeah. simple rule for us is that leave nothing up to the imagination. So someone comes in, the Sigma test is there, and you're like, Hey, I'm gonna sigma test this for you right now. And they're like, well, I don't want, I don't really want you to do it. I'm like, I'm leaving nothing up to the imagination. Yeah. You know, I no, pay, if, you, if you pay a lot for a machine, you're like, you're giving that person a peace of mind too. So yeah, eBay doesn't from, have that. From your, from your perspective, that's one of the best things you can have to solidify yeah, your business somebody. and yeah, reassure your your customers. We both got 19,197. He ran his twice and I ran mine twice. And I trust you guys. So I'm just going to get this purchase order filled out real quick. I'll fill the checkout at the same time. Yeah, Casey can. We'll both, we'll both get. Can you, we have your ID so he can yeah. fill out the name right and I can fill out the name right. And, uh, we'll give it to a young collector that we'll see the show or something. David gave it to us. And when you, when you find the rare thing that we all missed or something, all of a sudden and you hit a mother load, you can send uh, me. Yeah, you yeah. can send me another check. That's an extra prayer for that one, yep. yep. But thank you, David. Thank you for letting your bathroom. All right, guys, so this is basically everything that we purchased in this deal. It's mainly bullion, as you can see. So we ended up buying some 10th ounce eagles here. Paid 260 a piece for those. We ended up buying some saints and libs. So we agreed on a price ahead of time for these. So $2,500 a piece is what I'm willing to pay on these in case spot uh, goes down on gold. And we also were able to negotiate. So anything, an ounce or five ounce, we were paying $29 a piece per ounce for those. So you could see these kind of artsy fartsy bars, silver towns, we were paying $29 a piece. Anything over five ounces, so 10 ounces all the way up to kilos, uh, we were paying uh, 28 bucks a piece. This really just allows us to have some space and time between when we buy these pieces and when we sell them because when we buy them it could be at 3150 as it is right now but when you go to sell them it could be at 30 it could be at 2950 it could be at 29 it could be at 2850 and then you're just trying to get out of this stuff so you have to create that margin for yourself when you're buying deals that you know are 20,000 30,000 100,000 whatever um, we also talked to David about um, some Morgan dollars, so we even brought up what these have sold for recently for us. For 63s, we were paying 50, 64s, we're playing 60, um, and we're most of the time making 10%. Lucky if we make 15% on a really nice looking coin, uh, 49D Franklin half. Some of these we got decent deals on. These might sell for you know 50 bucks on this one, free shipping on eBay. Um, so, what we do with most of this stuff is we're going to find local clients for bullion, that's kind of the office and the mix of that. And then the numismatic stuff that's a little bit more, you know, stuff that comes in or premium or a few bucks in premium like this kangaroo might just be thrown up on eBay for, you know, no reserve auctions. Just let them run as they are because, you know, you have to remain liquid in this kind of environment. 
And there's also some unique stuff here, but I'll have Casey talk a little bit more about the bullion because he handles that. So starting off, we bought some larger bullion. Uh, you got 10 ounce, kilo, um, half pound, and then you've got some some stuff that might have a slight premium, some Scottsdale stackers, some other uh, nicer bullion pieces. These are two ounces. But overall, a good mix. You got some Silvertowns here. Little Silvertown one ounce pieces, as you can see. But just a good variety. You got a lot of uh, Buffaloes in these, and then a few other generics, but a good spread overall. Um, I thought this was interesting. Um, I guess you can connect this to Mint ID, and you've got a, a weird little uh, RFID chip in the back, but overall a good uh, good seamless process. Um, a good amount of bullion was purchased. Um, thank you, David. If you need to reach out to us, if you want to meet with us, we have an office. Uh, Drew's probably going to throw some photos up. Just a nice professional place to meet in a safe area so we can talk about uh, business and uh, your stacking goals, collecting goals, or if you want to uh, sell a collection. Just uh, give us a shout, we can meet. It's appointment only currently. And uh, yeah, just reach out. Our phone number is 832-538-4122. We may have a different number in the future, but we will update you when we change that. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys who's gonna win the 2024 Silver Eagle from our previous video which was us going to Midland and hanging out with the guys at Preacher Bills. So what we're gonna to do to decide who wins this is that we're gonna actually copy the link from the previous video, and then we're also gonna to go to YouTube Comment Picker. We're gonna close that. We're gonna scroll down, input the YouTube link, filter for duplicate comments, show five random names. We're gonna fill this out. And we had a total of 184 comments. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna pick a winner. All right, so Kevin, you won today's giveaway. If you want to reach out to us, you have a week to claim your prize and you can reach out to me on my email, which is akushacollectibles at gmail.com or you can message me on Instagram, which is at akushacollectibles. We are also going to be putting everything basically that we bought today, which is the slabs and some other kind of generic stuff uh, on our eBay, and we're gonna be auctioning that stuff off. So if you guys wanna take a look at those items or any other items that we're auctioning off this week, make sure to click that link in the description below, which just points you to all of our eBay listings and our eBay auctions. But thank you guys for watching today's video. We hope you guys learned something, enjoyed us having some time with David and uh, us paying him fair. But thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys in the next one.